now we should oh we'll look at um, the vcp daemon and connect the vcp works through the vcp daemon instead of uh, using vcp works directly to canal interface uh, the difference here is that um, uh, normally or or not normally really uh, uh, vcp works can connect directly through canal driver to a device like a can adapter or whatever and um, talk directly to the devices on that bus uh, that we t uh, say is a direct connection or uh, we can use uh, the daemon uh, and the daemon exports a tcp ip interface to the world and can have several canal interfaces connected to it so we can have several buses to the daemon and can talk to them all through one interface uh, and that's very good of course because we we can talk to many adapters uh, through the same interface and uh, we can have even have many computers talking through that interface if we want so we can talk to other control computers also and um, the important thing here of course also is that uh, uh, the difference with the local interface or remote interface is that the VSP daemon can be located on the other side of the world if we want to. Um, to, to have an adapter uh, recognized by, by the VSP, VSCP daemon, uh, we have to add it to the configuration file and we find that file in, in documents and settings, we talk windows here, um, all uses application data and VCP and uh, it's called VCP dconf. It looks like this. And what we add in these files is this tag, it's a standard XML file and it's canal driver, the tags, tags here. And uh, the driver has a name, a parameter. Uh, the parameter in this case is can USB uh, semicolon. Uh, 125 which, which is a speed in kilobits for the for the driver it's a standard speed for for VSP on CAN and the path to the actual canal driver uh, and flags which in this this case says that um, we want to recognize both uh, extended and, and um, standard uh, CAN frames <coughs> The driver, the canal driver, is um, installed installed by default from from the VCP and friends package. Uh, so we just look at it, uh, search it in in uh, the system 32 folder on a standard system. Um, this is what is needed. We say this, and uh, uh, we have that, and um, we can start the daemon. We do that here. I see it started here. I uh, see it get the MAC addresses on the interfaces. We have some error here because we, we have no persistent uh, variables. And um, it starts to work. It finds the, the um, uh, interface and the canal driver and it starts to work. And what we see here first is uh, an internal second event. It's an event that comes every second. We also see a random minute event. This event is, is um, uh, just thrown out uh, randomly every minute. And um, we have many other internal events also coming in through the demon. But what we, what we want to do now is, is talk to the, the demon and um, run with VCP works again and uh, we go to the client window and instead of selecting one of the canal interfaces we, we uh, talk through TCP IP instead and localhost in this case and we connect okay here we connected to the host and we can try a device here we get token activity like this 
Come on. Uh, press a button, we can get some activity also. And of course we can write out events to, to this device uh, if we like. Um, you see also the temperature here, uh, which we get from it. Uh, if we look at the settings for, for this interface, uh, we can go here and look at localhost edit. Uh, we can, as we, we said in another video uh, about VCP works, we can test the connection. And you see, it's a successful connection here. Uh, but we can also look at the interfaces that are, are available in this particular daemon. And when they all are set to zero here. Uh, we talk to all interfaces. An event we send will be transmitted on all interfaces on the daemon. But if we want, that can be very useful if we want to look at some particular uh, uh, device um, registers, we want to go to a particular interface on it. And we can do that. We can look what interfaces are available with get interfaces. And uh, then we have a lot of internal things that you see internal here. And we have two other interesting interfaces to this particular daemon. We have a remote TCP IP interface, and that's uh, VCP works on this machine talking to this daemon. And we have the peak driver. Uh, the one we added before. And in this case, we, we might set the peak driver as the interface we want to talk to. And now we will only see, uh, now we will see events from all other interfaces, but um, uh, we will only uh, transmit to this interface. Uh, I can go to the configuration here. Do that again. And if you look at the field here, it's quite different now. Um, what we see here is the UID for the interface uh, with a zero in the uh, next to least significant uh, byte and the node ID, node ID in the least significant byte. And we can do an update. Uh, you see it's significantly slower over server uh, but quite fast anyway if you think that this works the same if you're on this local machine or, or if you or, are on the machine on the on the other side of world of the world and uh, we will actually speed this up later on with, with the new multiple register reads and, and I think we'll, we'll uh, increase speed here with, with a factor of, of um, 10 or something. But I think most uh, devices are read in, in uh, a minute or so. Okay, we load the MDF. Uh, the first part here was loaded from, from the device. Now we look at the server on the internet and we load the data from that server. And now we have the registers loaded. Like this. Recognize that from the other video. And the clear text data. Like this. Uh, and uh, again, if we want to change something, we can change uh, the zone to one in this case and, and update that, write the value and um, it's written to like that it's written to the server okay so and uh, again we can do a scan here also if we uh, want to know what, what nodes are, are available on, on um, a particular machine we can look at the peak we have all the interfaces here then we can scan them I see we get one two three 
the one uh, the nodes we, we knew were there so uh, this is quite easy to use okay bye bye